All right, we are back in the kitchen, and I just had to wash my hands because I'm about to help her assemble. This is a uh, Reagan Jones. She's a registered dietitian, and she is with us today from Cabot Cheese, working with that today. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good doing? to see you. Good to see you. Okay, this is fun. It is. I said this was funky, and she said funky good. But yeah, funky, funky good. In a good way. Funky okay, in a so good way. what are we making? Okay, so we're going to make a cheddar wreath today. The two things I hear at the holidays are that they are difficult, mm -hmm. and they're difficult to eat healthy. We're going to dispel those myths. We're okay. going to make something that's quick, easy, and healthy. A Cheddar wreath. A cheddar wreath. Okay, okay right, how very do we start? Festive. So the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to start assembling the wreath. Okay. You take about a pound and a half of bread dough. You can easily use this, what I call, crack out of the can so bread dough. So you're just using regular bread dough. Regular French bread dough. It you just can happens get this to be Pillsbury. You can any, use whatever you want. Okay. Any supermarket. French you, loaf. You okay. can even make your own. That wouldn't okay. be quite as easy. Okay. And what you do is you assemble this on your baking sheet. You have to how be easy was that? Be sure to, to pinch the seams, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And while while this is baking, yeah. what you need to do is start cubing up your cheese. Okay. Okay, so the thing with the cheese is that you want to cut it in half. Mm -hmm. This is the easy way to do it. I don't recommend buying cheese that's pre-cubed. It's usually dried out, not near as good as that's fresh. That's a good tip because it, sometimes we think about that because it's easier. And you know what? This recipe only calls for a pound and a half, which mm -hmm. is three eight-ounce blocks. So it really doesn't take that much work. And the way we make this healthy, I mean, let's face it, people love a cheese tray at the right. holidays. They do. But it can be higher in calories, right. higher in fat, although it is rich in protein. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you can do is you can substitute part of your regular cheese with a reduced fat cheese. Now, I do work with Cabot Creamery, and I tell you that mm -hmm. their light cheddar is the best on the market. Mm -hmm. The cheddar that you're holding in your hand is Ooh, a jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar. Hot. It just won first place at American Cheese okay. Society. Okay. So half the fat, fewer calories, okay. a much, much healthier option. And that's so, a cool way to, to cube the cheese. Yeah, all you have to do is go one down this way, three this way, and then over across. I'm going to okay. let you do those. So right. like I said, you have to pinch the seams. This is the really important part of the bread dough is that you want to pinch these seams so that it doesn't split apart when you bake it. Okay. You put this in a 350 degree oven mm -hmm. for 30 minutes and if you forget those directions, it's basically what's on the package. Okay. okay. So after you've baked your bread dough and you've cubed up your cheese, mm -hmm. what it looks like is right beside you. And we'll go okay. ahead and look at right, this. We're moving over. And what we do here, very simply, is you go ahead and start making a trough, basically, mm. in your cheddar wreath. We'll do a, a little part here so that you can see that. You're going to scoop that out okay. and just discard those, or you can use that to make a good bread pudding or a strata or even sort of a French toast casserole for breakfast. You don't, don't have, have to waste, waste any of that. <laughs> and then what you do, what you want to do is start assembling your wreath beneath it first, because if you start filling this up with cheddar, then it's right. all going to spill out. So now what are you using here? Now, what I'm using is Italian flour flat leaf parsley right here. Mm -hmm. I'm also using rosemary and that smells so wonderful. Yes, it smells it just like the holidays. Mm -hmm. And I also have a little bit of sage. This kind of helps recreate that wreath look. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll assemble that all the way around. All right. Add in your your regular cheddar and then your 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 light cheddar. Mm -hmm. Make some ornaments. You could also use um, star fruit. Star fruit fruit looks really good in this. Mm -hmm. It looks like stars. Well, what are on these? Your I what these are called. This is a kumquat. Kumquat. That's right. And one of the reasons that I chose these, you could easily choose um, yellow tomatoes, but these are in season, mm -hmm. so it's nice to support local farmers. Okay. It's nice to support so seasonal produce. In half? Just cut those in half, okay. assemble those on your bread dough, and All then right. you have a cheddar wreath. We did that that fast. It's a healthy option. Again, again, something good, healthy to serve at the holidays and quick and easy as well. Okay, once you get this all cut out mm -hmm. and you've got all your cheese in here, mm -hmm. um, you put it in the oven at what? You don't put this in the oven. Oh, you didn't. You, okay. You I'm sorry. This. After we've done that. I, I didn't mean that. You're I mean, how much was that in the oven for? 30 minutes. Okay. At 350 so you just degrees. Cook the bread just like the directions yeah. are. Okay. And you know, you could always get a bread bowl. If you're really pressed for time, you could always get a bread bowl mm -hmm. in your bakery, cut the entire center out, mm -hmm. and then you can make your wreath just like this. And you just assemble it with the herbs around the, it's, the outside. It's kind of like when you've done. Um, like a spinach dip and you cut out the bowl to exactly. put the spinach dip in it. And people see that all the time. They're yeah. familiar with it. It's such a great idea, but this is a fun new way to change that right. up. This is really cool. This is what it looks like. If you want to try it, uh, we'll have the recipe at myfoxal.com a little bit later on today. Reagan, thank you so much. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming by. I can't wait to try it. All right.